Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Good evening, hello, teacher. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? All right. I'm fine. Good. I'm very tired. Oh, tired. I guess it is for your work. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's uh, tired to go to work and then go to classes. But we are here. Yeah. Okay, um, before um, the class or the information, I have a question. ¿Cómo están con la plataforma? Iniciando la sección 2 ahora. Ok. Sí. En mi caso, espero poder avanzar mañana, teacher. Okay. Ok, ok. Sí. Remember that it's very important that you work in the platform because of the um, the records, because um, that is the, um, the main point. Recuerden que tienen que trabajar en la plataforma. Ahí es donde se va llevando lo que es el record de su trabajo. Entonces, si pueden avanzar eh, más de lo que eh, pueden hacer en la semana, traten de hacerlo para que así ya lleven avanzado su trabajo y si hay un día que no pueden trabajar, ya llevan ese, ese, um, ese trabajo ya más avanzado. So, we are going to start with um, the topic that we are going to develop this day. But first, again, let me share my screen. Here we are. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, Monica. Um, the first is, hoy es tu oportunidad para construir el mañana que quieres. I know that we are maybe tired because of the work, but we are here trying to learn something new, trying to improve our English skills. So you are um, building the tomorrow you want. So. We have here three things. The review, the quiz, we are going to have a quiz, and the new topic that is count and non-count nouns. So for the review, let's see these um, tables here. We have three. This is about the did, the use of did to make questions or just to make sentence. In this case, it is just um, the positive uh, sentences and the yes, no questions. Why are, uh, are we seeing this? Because of the quiz. Este solo es para recordar la forma en la que hacemos la pregunta, la oración positiva, yes, no question and answers, porque vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio Eh, utilizando esa información que ya tenemos sobre el did and the past. So, in the first one, we have a question. In this case, we are not adding the question mark because it's just to remember. But I am putting here because it's important to write it when we are making questions. So, did, I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Did I cook? Did you cook? Did he or she or it cook? Did we cook? Did they cook? Then the positive uh, sentence, I cook it. In this case, we are using the verb in past. 
because we are not using the auxiliary D. And that's something that we already learned in the previous class. When we are using the auxiliary, we are not changing the verb. But in this case, we are not using the auxiliary, so we change the time of the verb. We are using the verb past. In this case, it is a, um, it's a, um, one of the most used verb, I guess, cook. And we know that it is uh, talking about the action that make food. So in the just no answers, we have the pronouns and the auxiliary. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, he did. Yes, she did. Yes, he did. Yes, we did. And yes, they did. Then we have the negative answers. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, he didn't. No, she didn't. No, it didn't. No, we didn't. And no, they didn't. That's a short review of the use of did and the past. So remember, when we are using the auxiliary did, we don't change the verb. If we are not using the auxiliary, we need to use the verb like a regular or regular verbs in past. So that's all for the review of previous class. Now, I have um, something called Jamboard. I don't know if you know what is um, Jamboard. Alguien conoce que es Jamboard? No, teacher. No? No. It's... No, no idea. Okay. Um, Jamboard is, tell me, Maria Jose. Oh, you have uh, your pet with oh, you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I heard that Jamboard is uh, like a, a student platform yes. to make online mm -hmm. like real time and i don't know if i feel like games mm -hmm. jamboard is an, a tool that teachers use to work with students in this case we are going to use it to answer some questions <laughs> and it is a really helpful um tool because we are going to have the answers in real time. Es una herramienta que se utiliza para trabajar con los estudiantes en tiempo real. So, I will send you the link to the group in WhatsApp. So, let me send you the link. You are going to access and uh, answer the, the sentences. So, let me explain the sentence but here we are okay that's the link you are going to access and you will find um some questions or some sentences in the the tool we have um three sentences i guess yes we have three I will uh, write an example here. We have something like that. I have this sentence. They went to a restaurant last night. I have a sentence in past. They went to a restaurant last night. What are we going to do? We are going to write a question and two answers. Answer one, answer two. Answer one is yes. 
Answer two is no. We have our sentence. So we need to change the um, structure. In this case, we are going to use the to make our questions. The, then the subject, they, then we have our verb. In this case, we are not using it in past. Oh. We are using it in present. Did they go? Then the complement. That is all the same. To a restaurant last night. And at the end, the question mark. Oh my God. That. Then I have my question. So I need to write answer one. That is, yes, they did. And answer two, no, they didn't. That's the example. You will find three sentences in Jamboard and you can um, write it in post-it that it has, um, and you can answer or write your sentences, your questions, and your um, answers. So tell me if you can um, find the, the, the Jamboard. Ya pudieron eh, ingresar? No han tratado de ingresar todavía? Yes. Yo ya la descargué, okay. teacher, y ya entré. Ok. Ahorita... Uh -huh. Ok, ok, ok. I will give you time to um, make your sentences. Ok. Uh, I, I read three sentences. Yes, it, three sentences. Uh -huh. The airplane took off at 3.45 p.m. and the third is the uh, Jenny say goodbye to her friend. Yes. Okay. Those are the sentences. So you have to choose um, the post-it, uh, the tool that is at your left, and you have to write the, the question, number one, number two, and number three, and the answers. Teacher, disculpe. Tell me. Um, para trabajar en eso, este, tocamos primero aquí donde se quiz. No, that's just the, the images. Esas solo son las imágenes que yo he puesto. Ustedes van a encontrar una barrita al lado izquierdo donde aparece un lapicero, un borrador, un puntero. Ahí está la nota adhesiva de post -it. Ustedes le dan clic le va a aparecer un cuadrito de colores y van escribiendo ahí todo y solo le dan, cuando ya tengan todo, le dan guardar y ya va a aparecer ahí. Ah, a mí no me aparece nada de eso. Ah, un ojito, tampoco me sale. Un ojito, un ojito abajo. I will send you, will send you a... Para ver, me... Wait, wait, wait. I will send you a... Um an image of the screen. So you can find at the tools. Okay. And a screen like that, you have to have in your um, in your device. Let me see. Okay, 
I think it's a matter of access. Let me change that. Mm -hmm. But it is supposed that is public. Sí, solo nos aparece como lectura, teacher. Yes, let me change that. You see? No se puede hacer ningún cambio. It is supposed that, okay. It's ready. Se supone que ya se cambió. Oh. Tell me if you can access and write some things in the in the screen. <coughs> yes, teacher. Yes. I already changed. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What to do. Okay. Tell me. I see I have an assistant drawing tools. Uh, okay. Yeah. Excuse me, teacher. Tell me. Uh, but what do we have to do there? Let me share this. Here we have the um, the screen. In this space, you are going to choose this one and you have to write, number one, what is our first uh, sentence? It rained yesterday. What we are going to do? We are going to do a question with that sentence. In that case, we are going to use did, did. Then we have the subject did, the verb rain yesterday. Did it rain yesterday? That's the question that we are making with the sentence. Then we have the answers. We can say, do it like this, yes, it did. No, it didn't. Like this, and then I have my post. Right. Look at this. That's my answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, two, three, four, and Yes, number four is the post-it. Teacher, excuse me, uh, where oh. I can uh, write? You can write in the, in the, in Jamboard. But... I don't know where is the pencil. Um, you can use just the um, the post-it. It's easier. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this is the number four. One, two, three, four. Like this. Oh my God. I have some answers right have now. A problem with, with the test because uh, 
Mm -hmm. This is a mistake. I don't know. Tengo que volver you did a, a mistake. Me dice. Ajá. Me dice que tengo un error en la página y tengo que volverla a cargar. Oh. <coughs> if you can write in the in the jump board, you can uh, write your answers in the chat here in Zoom. Um, yes, because I, I don't know. Let me take this. Oh. I read okay. in the mm -hmm. in the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. or, okay. Yes, you can do it. Uh, okay. That Thank are you. downloading the app. You can uh, do the quiz, um, whatever you want, because it is on my um, email. So that's okay. Don't worry. Ustedes pueden contestar cuando ya puedan tener acceso al Jamboard porque las respuestas van a quedar siempre guardadas ahí. So don't worry. So I will read some of the questions. Let me see. Number one, did it rain yesterday? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Good. Did you work yesterday? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Did it rain yesterday? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Did you swim a pool? In this case, this one, I will edit. Did you swim in the pool? In the pool yesterday. Did you eat? Did we? This one. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Las oraciones que vamos a, a pasar a, a question mm -hmm. son esas que estaban ahí. Yo hice yes. dos y bueno, ya se me pasa, ya se me fueron a la, a la, a la app. Mm -hmm. Pero estoy en la tercera. Lo único es que yo no la anoté y no sé qué más dice. Solo did Jenny say, no sé, no sé qué más decía. I am y doing no it si bigger. This one. Jenny said goodbye to her friend. Jenny said goodbye to her friend. Did Jennifer say goodbye to her friend? Friend, okay. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Did the airplane take off at 3.44 p.m.? Okay. Did you walk today? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did it rain yesterday? Did it rain yesterday? Okay. Did you play soccer? This one. Did you play soccer? Last Okay. No, I didn't. Did you visit a doctor last year? Yes, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question. Did you watch TV last night? Good. Mm -hmm. Ya las terminé, entonces. Okay. 
las comparto o como ya, o ya están accesibles para que usted las vea, teacher. Las si, mías, usted no le, sé, no sé. si usted le dio, después de tener el post-it, if you write something and you did this one, guardar, it appears in the Jamboard already. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I no no vi guardar. A mí no me aparece guardar, quiero ver. If mm. you play soccer, this one doesn't have nothing here. Yeah. Ah, no me parece, bueno. Un chequecito para Patricia. Es que ya los hice, pero se me perdieron. Un chequecito. Me salieron en blanco. Did Jenny say goodbye to her friend? Okay, good. Uh, this one is empty. No, it didn't. Yes, she did. Did Jenny say goodbye to her friend? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Good. No, I didn't. Teacher, tell me. me. Um, I sent uh, my answer in the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Okay, thank you. Okay, it said, did it rain yesterday? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Did the airplane took off at 3.47 p.m.? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Did Jenny say goodbye to her friend? Yes. Good. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Did Jenny say goodbye to her friend? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is like a um, whiteboard where we are adding some uh, phrases. So that's really good. Okay. We can um, have this. Like that. Ok. Ok, ok. Ustedes pueden seguir agregando sus oraciones ahí. No se preocupen. That's not the end. Eh, eso van a aparecer ahí. Ustedes pueden seguir agregándolas. Y yo las voy a ir revisando a lo largo de la hora. So, that's ok. Um, I have some... Did you go to the beach last Sunday? Yes. I did. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Now we are going to. Um, uh, oh, pues si ahí están las mías. Uh -huh. yo, yo acabo de poner esa verdecita con ese, ese porque estaba, no sabía. Y como todas las respuestas se parecen. Uh -huh. ah, pues sí, ya. Sí, que este, ahí automáticamente, están. automáticamente le dan a guardar y ya aparece ahí, ya se, ya se coloca es ahí que... la. No está la opción guardar, solo está un chequecito y yo lo... Oh, no, solo, it's no different. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, for me, the first time I am working in, in, in this APP. Oh. <laughs> I had a little difficult to work, but I believe I get it. Oh, that's good. That's something new uh, for okay, some okay. of you. Mm -hmm. It's something new, okay. but... It's kind of um, funny when we are going to learn something yes. new. In this case, it's not just the English class. Uh, yes, but because also. the the last the last course, I I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, but you are doing a lot uh, of things in this yeah. course. T That's good. Till today, till today. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we learn something new every day. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, now we are going to continue with the uh, with the topic. And now is the new topic for today. That is, I'd said before, that is count and non-count nouns. 
Vamos a hablar de nombres contables y no contables. So, let me share my screen like this. Okay, here we are. Now, we are going to change this to the new topic. Topic. Count and non-count nouns. Okay, this is the topic. Count and non-count nouns. What are those and how we can use it or how we can identify them. We already know that in Spanish, count and noun count nouns are referred to nombres contables, nombres no contables. But uh, maybe in Spanish it's easier to identify the noun and noun count um, nouns. En español a veces ya sabemos identificar los nombres contables y no contables. But in this case, we are going to learn about the count and non-count nouns in English. So, the expression, we are going to talk about expressions. We are going to talk about um, articles, nouns, some rules, some examples about this topic. We are going to begin with expression. Maybe you have read this or um, hear this, too many, too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. When we talk about things, we use sometimes too many, many, too much, less, fewer, enough. Hablamos de cantidades cuando decimos muchas, pocas, menos, suficientes. Those are the expressions. In this case, we are going to um, talk fewer. about articles. You know, no. Articles. In nouns. In the first one, we have the articles. We need to know what articles are. Articles are words that signal that a noun is coming up. Okay, the first one is the articles. Those are words that show us or let us know that a noun is coming up next to that article. An example are this one and this one. A uh, and an. This. Those are the articles that help us to know that it, a noun is coming up and it is like um, if we are using the vowels or we are using the consonants. So in this case, those are the most commonly used articles. Estamos hablando de artículos. A, an, que básicamente significan uno, unos, no, uno. o uno, o una. In this case, so, uh, son palabras que las utilizamos al inicio de los nombres. En muchos de los casos los hemos visto cuando nos referimos a um, palabras que están escritas con vocal o con consonante, pero vamos a ver algunas eh, diferencias con esa información. Then, what are the nouns? Ya tenemos los articles. Now we have the nouns. Nouns are the words that identify a person, place, or things. And here we have an example. 
boys, women, Seattle, Virginia, paper, etc. Los nombres, decíamos, son eh, palabras que identifican personas, lugares y cosas. En el ejemplo, boys, niños, chicos, women, mujeres, Seattle, that is the name of a city, Virginia, also is the name of a city, paper, that is a thing. So the um, nouns help us to identify those things, persons, places, or things. Now, why are we uh, talking about articles and nouns? Because it is for the noun, the, the count and non-count nouns. In this case, there are also two different kinds of nouns that are the count and non-count nouns. And we are going to make the difference. Count nouns. It refers to people, places, and things that can be count. Nombres contables. It refers to people. Se refiere a personas. Podemos contar cuantas personas queramos. Places, podemos contar los lugares, things, cosas que obviamente, como su nombre lo dice, pueden ser contabilizados. Example. And here we have the, um, the, the numbers. 20 students. We have 20 students in a room. Maybe we have three, we have four, we have five, but we can count how many students we have in a room. Then eight rooms, how many rooms the house have, maybe. Then we have one box, we have one box in our hands, or maybe we have 10 boxes or something like that. And four souls. Or socks. All of the things we can count it. Podemos contar todo eso. Uh, maybe, like an example, I have here four pieces of papers. One, two, three, mm, and four. four. I have four pieces of paper. I can count them. But if I want to say, um, let me see. Um, something that I can out. Maybe I have a, a glass of water. I can count the glass, one glass of water. But I can count the water. No puedo contar el agua. Si puedo contar el recipiente. But that are non count nouns. Then we have here, none count nouns. On the other hand, refer to items, qualities, or concepts. that cannot be counted. In this case, we are talking about items, qualities or concepts, things that we can count. In this case, we have something that we need to know that is marked plus a note that the noun counts
usually do not have plurals. In this case, they ha, um, don't use uh, the plurals. So we are not going to add the S at the end of the names. For example, loyalty, information, pollution, Salt, etc. Con los nombres no contables, ahí estamos diciendo que son cosas, cualidades o conceptos que básicamente no podemos contar con exactitud. Y normalmente no se utilizan las formas plurales con ellos, así que no agregamos la S. Y tenemos los ejemplos. No podemos contar la lealtad de alguien. Ah, how many loyalty do you have? Oh, I have five. No, it is not possible. Um, how many information do we have? ¿Cuánta información tenemos? A lot. But it is not count. Because we can count like um, pennies, like uh, paper, like money. Not like that. Pollution. How many pollution do we have? A lot, but we can count it. Salt. We know that salt are like um, um, a little part of something, but we can count it. ¿Cuántos granitos de sal podemos contar? No lo sabemos. There are a lot. So. The sugar. The sugar, then. That's something that is not counted. We can count it. Are it is pounds? not. Pounds? Tell me. Uh, we can uh, count by pounds, ounce, uh, mm -hmm. like that, but not like um, kilograms. To, uh huh. We can count it in in that kind of um of things, but we can count it one by one. In ese caso, nosotros podemos contarlos en forma general, pero no podemos eh, contarlo, digamos, separando todos los granitos de sal, los granitos de azúcar o los granitos de todo eso, no podemos, pero sí lo podemos agrupar en uno solo y que eso nos dé una medida. So, now that we better understand count and non count nouns, we can take a look at the rules for article. Um, in the top, we have the articles here. So, we need to know how to use them. I think it is not um, really difficult to understand how to use the articles, but we are going to study the rules because it is important to know the rules. So I will um, write here the rules because it is necessary to know rules for articles. It is not necessary that you write down everything. Um, I guess at the end of the week, that is tomorrow, I will share with you in the group this um, document. So you can write it or not because I will uh, share the information with you because it is important that you have it. So don't worry for that. So we have the rules. Number one, use a or an. to signal singular, just singular count and non-count or just count. In this case, 
we can uh, use RN to signal singular count nouns whose identity is not specified, just singular. En este caso, solo utilizamos ese artículo con los singulares, porque obviamente nos está diciendo un, una. Y los usamos con aquellas que, cosas que no hemos identificado eh, específicamente. And here we have. This one comes before words that begin with, let's see, a consonant sound. And we have here B, C, D, F, G, J, K, L, M, O, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, and Z. Wait, we are not adding Y yet because we need to uh, mark something with that sound. So we can use it with uh, words that it comes um, with that consonant sound, all of that. What we are not adding H or Y because it is like an exception. There are some words that use H and Y that sounds different. So in this case, usually here we have, tell me Roberto. Teacher, I have a question. Tell I me. can say, I, I can say an apple. An apple? Yeah. If you are using just A, this one, you can say, um, in this case, you can write it like that. A apple, it is not um, like that. You can add N. No. And, and yes, apple. an apple. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, we're saying that we have some exceptions. Usually, H. We have H um, with a different like of rule, as in words in. Are born, birth, and hand. Sometimes you ask in words like universe, unity and university. And usually in Y. In English, we have sounds or different sounds that make the difference. In this case, we are using just A with the consonant sounds. Utilizamos A eh, con los sonidos de las consonantes. Y tenemos ahí nuestra lista de consonantes, solo que quitamos o sacamos la H, sacamos la Y. ¿Por qué? In this case, in English, those letters has a different sounds. Es por el sonido, no solo por la escritura, sino por el sonido que tiene. In this case, it says usually H as in words like hardboard, hard, and hand, because we can um, hard some uh, different sound. 
En este caso, utilizamos esas palabras porque se pronuncian como que si estuviéramos utilizando otra letra, otro sonido de consonante. Por eso lo utilizamos a veces con esas eh, palabras. But not in all the cases. Because we know that the H is a silent sound. But in this case, it sounds like a consonant. Then, with some words with U, as universe, unity and university for the sound that we make when we pronounce the word. So then we have the N that is the other one comes before words that begin with a vowel. A, I. Those one, yes. A, I, O, U. Yes. Sometimes H as in words like herb and hour. And sometimes in you as in words like under, unlikely and unseen. So now we have the, the vowels and we are also using the age because of the sound, not just the way it writes the words. That's because of the sound. In this case, we are using age as in words like herb because we are hearing the first um, vowel, not the age, then our, because we are hearing the O. So in that cases, we can use those um, articles with consonant or vowels despite of the rules. Then we have, again, the U as in word like under, unlikely, and unseen. Entonces, solo para recapitular, eh, utilizamos estos um, artículos para demostrar que algo es eh, un nombre que nosotros podemos contar como un, una. But we have two different types, A, N. Eso lo utilizamos, la A con los sonidos de, de consonantes, A con los sonidos de las vocales. Muchas palabras que se escriben con H pueden sonar con un sonido de consonante o con un sonido de vocal. And we have some examples. For example, I have four examples here. First, a bird flew over the trees. Number two, a university offers more classes than a community college. No sería ahí an por university que empieza con vocal. That's the point. Let's see. Yeah. In this case, we are using um, this with university, yeah. this one, because, or let me ask, why? Because we are making another sound. When we pronounce university, you, 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 we are not pronouncing university. We are pronouncing university like we are um, using a consonant. In este caso, 
es así como lo decíamos acá. In this one. Sometimes you like universe, unity, and university. In this one. Why? Por el sonido. Eh, sí se escribe con vocal, pero cuando la pronunciamos, no se escucha como vocal. Se escucha como si llevara una consonante al principio. University. 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 Por eso es que utilizamos esa eh, para esa palabra con vocal, porque no suena como una palabra solo con vocal, sino como una palabra que llevara consonante. Por eso lo utilizamos así. And in this case, a community. Porque estamos utilizando una consonante en, en esa parte, sí. But in this one is for the pronunciation. We can use them just for the pronunciation. Podemos utilizarlo si la pronunciación lo permite. No solo es por las consonantes o las vocales, sino por la pronunciación de las palabras. Ten. Number three. An hour. Seems like a days in algebra class. This is another example. In this case, we have here the consonant, but we are using this one that is made for vowels. Estamos utilizando estas que se supone que solo la utilizamos con las vocales, pero otra vez la pronunciación, our, es como si solo pronunciáramos la vocal. Por eso le ponemos eso al inicio de la oración. No es solo porque lleve vocal o no, sino por la pronunciación. Number four. An officer arrived quickly. An officer arrived quickly. So now we know that we have the articles that we can use it with bubble sound and a consonant sound um, despite of the writing. If we, uh, if we have a word that is right with a consonant, but it sounds like a vowel, we can use And tell me, Roberto. Teach do you write umbrella? Umbrella N or a umbrella? Umbrella, umbrella, a, a umbrella or an umbrella? That's the question. Yes. Yeah, yeah, to my question. In that case, the sound of the beginning of the, um, the word umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. What is the sound, a vowel or a consonant? Umbrella. Uh, a vowel. A vowel sound. So we are writing like this, oh, no. umbrella. umbrella. Mm -hmm. We have to pronounce umbrella. the word and we have to think that sound is a vowel sound or a consonant sound. If you uh, hear it like a vowel sound, you have to write it like this. But if in this case, it had a consonant sound, umbrella, maybe. Like you see in this one, umbrella. In the pronunciation, we can write it like this, but in this case, it is not umbrella, it's umbrella. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. So, we have some um, rules to write, but it is time to end the session. Tomorrow is the last day of the week, So we are going to um, talk about the other rules and 
something else. Remember the, that you have to work in the platform and if you have some troubles or something with the exercises, you can ask for help. So for today, it's everything and that's all. So have a good night and see you tomorrow at the same time. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye and have Goodbye. a good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.